Hello, welcome to Pendulum Friday. Thank you so very much for being here at Soul Print Intuitive Carol. Uh, my name is Cindy. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. To my new subscribers, welcome. I very much appreciate your support. To my established subscribers, well, I simply adore you. So, uh, we've got some really good questions today, and I think I may be getting some, you know, sort of downloads. So, we'll see uh, what the pendulum says, and then we'll see if I have anything to add. Um, by the way, just so you know, um, I am currently booking readings the first sort of mm, probably the third week of February, like that. Uh, so if you're interested in getting a reading in the drop box below is an email address, soulprint888 at gmail.com. Just send me a quick note and I will give you the information you need and require. Alrighty, here we go. Well, before I start, thanks, Joyce. You're amazing. Will Trump be physically able-bodied at the August Republican Convention to accept his nomination? Okay, so is Trump going to be in good enough physical shape to attend the August Republican Convention? As of right now, that's a yes. Um, is he going to have any health or legal issues that are going to prevent him from attending? No. Did Kevin McCarthy wear a wire into the Capitol and get dirt on Matt Gates? Good question. All right, they're saying no. Um, I can tell you, I just saw that they have reached out to a girlfriend of his um, to come in and, and speak to whatever committee it is that's investigating him. This is the thing that I've heard about Matt Gates and energetically it holds, is he's so arrogant and so entitled that nobody needed to wear a wire to get dirt on him. He was like really open about, you know, showing videos and pictures and comments um, on the House floor to other members. So I'm not so sure that he, there was anything sneaky. Now I will tell you that Kevin McCarthy is not very happy with Gates. And Kevin McCarthy is not going to do anything to help or support Matt Gates. Will Gates be found guilty? Oh my God, let's hope so. You're getting a yes. So I'm assuming this has to do with guilty pertaining to the investigation that is going on with the House committees. Um, so a follow-up question would then be, will he be removed from Congress? Will he have to leave Congress? Whoa, that's a really strong yes. And I have to say, the last time I checked on Matt Gates, if I'm not mistaken, um, there was sort of an energy around him that he was really protected. But obviously, some of that protection has worn off. Will Fonnie Willis complete the Trump case? Yes, she will. Um, this is this whole thing that started up with her. This is just a whole lot of hoo-ha for nothing. Um, the Republicans are just going to keep on. Okay. Like that's what we all have to sort of face and accept. They are just going to keep on doing what they're doing because they're too scared not to. So they're just going to keep attacking. They're going to come up with stupid, stupid impeachments. They're going to, um, you know, do all kinds of stuff. I also just saw that uh, it, there was, I guess, some new polls released and Biden and Trump are like almost like neck and neck. So that's going to send them right through the roof, right? Is Detroit planning any gains with mail-in votes again in the post office for the upcoming election? Is there going to be any... Um, tricks 
going on with the mail when it comes to mail in election come um, November. Yeah, no. Um, is he still going to be in his position? Is Joy still going to be um, kind of head of that post office? Mm, yes, he is. So right now. Will Trump be disallowed from communicating in any way to the outside world once he's incarcerated? Okay, now. Even Charles Manson. Um, many mass murderers were able to communicate um, with the outside world, whether they were talking to art, uh, you know, authors who were writing books about them or telling their story. I don't think, honestly, that he can be completely shut down unless he is put somewhere where there's just no communication. Um, you know, if he's put somewhere like in a, a, a safe house or or something that is, you know, just has no communication capabilities. But if he is in any kind of a standard, even sort of standard uh, jail situation, they can't prevent him from talking. I think that they can monitor it. I think that they can restrict it. But I don't think that they can just flat out say, you're not allowed to talk, because then he'll start screaming about his First Amendment right to spew garbage. But let's see. So I'm going to just rephrase that. If Trump is incarcerated, will he still be able to send out constant misinformation and communications? Will he still be able to do that? Okay, so that's a no. Let's take it. Okay, let's just take it. Um, I often, I often wonder if he also could be setting himself up, setting himself up for a diagnosis that he has a mental illness that would be used in his defense. Is Trump going to claim some sort of mental um, disability that would prevent him from not being able to, um, you know, mount a defense as he is entitled to? Okay, not at this time. I've looked at this situation before. And what came through really, really clearly was the fact that um, his ego will not allow. It, it just won't. Um, you know, he lives in fear um, that he is going to end up like his father. So anything that even comes close to him not being, you know, mentally fit and able, um, it just, it would go so far against his, his own ego, his own sense of self. I can't imagine, like, literally, unless there is a diag, not even a diagnosable, but some sort of something that would allow him to not be able to process information. Um, I can't imagine him going that way now. Objectively, will Trump be mentally healthy enough to actually be able to understand what is going on um, in court cases with him? He's going to be able to understand it. Okay, so yes. So, you know, he, I think he was operating under an illusion, um, or perhaps a delusion, that if he just showed up in court, people would be like, so wow to be in the same room with Trump, that they would just do whatever he wanted. Um, and I guess 
he found out 83 million reasons how come that's actually not going to work. Um, his behavior was appalling, and the jury witnessed it. So there you have um, a prosecution basically saying this guy just doesn't think he is um, – he thinks he's above the law. He doesn't think that the rules apply to him in any way, shape, or form. And then what does he do? He behaves in the court in front of the jurors. Yep, like the rules don't apply to him. Um, that didn't serve him well. And, I mean, I from what I can understand, he's kind of thrown um, Haba under the bus. Let's just check that, shall we? Um, is Aileen Haba going to... Um, uh, is she going to become the coffee boy? Yeah. Um, for anybody who maybe missed that, this was quite a while ago. Um, he had people working on his, you know, in his office and his whatever. And if they looked like they were in any way helping to discredit him, um, he would just say, I didn't know him. I thought he was the coffee boy. What do I know? I don't know who this guy is. So a lot of, I don't, you know, we hear it, right? And I hardly knew her. I had, I didn't know him. You know, I meet so many people. Um, so there's going to come a time where she is going to be, you know, a person non grata for him because she screwed up. She blew it. She made him a $83.3 million loser. Just saying. Um, oh, re this is so, so sad. Um, research, research statistics from 20 states with strict abortion laws show about 65,000 forced pregnancies from rape since the Dobbs decision. Will there be karmic spiritual consequences for those who support this in humane treatment of women. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a couple of videos ago, we were looking at, I can't remember her name, what? Um, the, the woman who miscarried and the fetus went into the toilet and then they were charging her with like, Second degree murder or something. The jury didn't buy that one at all. Apparently now there is some sort of a charge against her about like indignities to a um, a human body. I don't know if a fetus actually qualifies as human because it hasn't been born. I don't think that one's going to go well either. Uh, let's just ask a general one because I... And so I'm not sure if that second sort of charge has been dealt with. Um, is what's going to face any serious um, or ongoing criminal liability as a result of her miscarriage? No. So... That's good news because there was a lot of concern that because she was, you know, black and not wealthy, um, maybe she would just be treated very differently than the women who are, you know, have band together, but they're all white and relatively affluent. So that's good to know that there's at least some sanity going on. Do the Republicans in Congress who kissed the orange butt, especially Mike Johnson, really know how bad Trump is physically and mentally? Do they know? Yes, absolutely no. When I was reading these questions be before I started to record, um, it was really interesting because sort of the flash I got is that they are They are using him to gain as much power as they can to win the election, whether that's the House, the Senate, they foolishly think they're going to take the White House. They know. But somewhere in their head, there is this sort of um, calculus going on that they just need him to get them into the White House. They just need him to get him, them elected. 
And then it feels like they anticipate or suspect that he will not be long in the Oval Office. And then they're going to be able to put in um, their people. So the question then becomes actually is, does the Freedom Caucus, the Mega Caucus, do they have um, sort of a strategy worked out should Trump um, be elected president but not be able to serve his whole term? Yeah, yeah. It honestly, it feels like that's kind of their strategy, right? Um, he realized it, it, things aren't going well for them, but they don't. Make, it, it, this is it. They can't do anything without him because everybody, you know, that base of theirs just loves him. And so they're in a position where they were, it, however many years, in 2016, where it was like, okay, well, we'll get him into office and then we can control him, then we can corral him, then we can. Psh. We all know how that worked out. But Apparently, the Republicans are quite slow learners, and even though they've gone this circle once before, it didn't work out anywhere near the way they planned to ask Mitch McConnell. Apparently, their strategy is very, very similar. Okay, just answered the next question. Do the Republicans in Congress really see him as a strong second-term president? No. No, 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 no. But what they do see him as is a strong vote getter. They see him as somebody who can help um, their elections. Will Jared Kushner be indicted for shady dealings with Saudi Arabia? That looks like a yes at some point. Okay. Will the Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn win the Republican primary election in August in order to run for the Senate seat in November? Is Marsha Blackburn going to be eligible to run for her Senate for a Senate seat in the November election? Is she going to um be eligible to do that. Right now it's a no. By the time you guys are seeing this on Friday morning, you're, I'm sure you're going to have heard, but the Supreme Court has decided that they are going to hear um, arguments pertaining to Trump's, um, wh wh whether or not Trump should be allowed to run. Okay, so um, that's going on. Apparently, um, some of the people who are really pushing for a no answer, like, no, he can't, um, apparently some of them came up with some ruling or some something from Scalise, who, of course, we all know the Republicans hold in very high regard, um, you know, may rest in peace, um, that really, really supports Trump not being allowed to run. So at this point, I guess until um, decisions are made, you know, we're, we're kind of walking on parallel Trump tracks with Trump, right? On the one hand, it's like we are assuming he's going to run, and that's where the answers are coming from. So until there is a significant shift and he won't be allowed to, those answers stand even though sometimes they're a little disappointing. Will Fox News lose its influence after Trump disappears? Well, okay. Yes, it's a very little yes. Because once Trump is gone and, and things start to, to settle, and people are no longer just in perpetual terror about what he's going to do. I think a lot of people, us, all of us included, well, we're not going to completely back away from politics, but we are going to be able to take some deep breaths and not follow it so um, intimately. 
right? Um, so I think uh, all of the networks are going to sort of feel that um, kind of loss of attention, loss of revenue, you know, loss of viewership. Uh, you know, people are going to go back, hopefully, to watching sitcoms and murder mysteries. Um, there's always going to be, you know, the, the the people who are just immersed in politics. And I'm not suggesting for one second that we all go, okay, and walk away. Because if nothing else, the lesson that has been learned is that you can't do that. You have to pay close attention to what your elected representatives are doing. But I do think that what you're going to have is you're going to have sort of normal Republicans, if there are any, um, kind of still gravitate to Fox. And the people who are still in conspiracy land are going to, you know, go to AON or whatever else there is out, out there. So, will the federal January 6th trial be completed before the November election? Um, will some Republicans notice that Speaker Johnson scuttled the border bipartisan bill and realize the GOP is not working for the country's best interest? They know that. They all know it. Every one of them. They will not push back against Trump. Now, I guess we'll see if there are Republicans who are brave enough probably the ones that have announced they're retiring, to, you know, somehow push this thing forward. But they all know. They also know that they don't have any options as long as Trump is calling the shots. And he is calling the shots. Make no mistake about it. I mean, look at look at um, McConnell. He was totally for this. This thing was brilliant. It was a great bipartisan deal. And then Trump said no. And what did he say? He said the, 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 the tides have changed. Or, or it was something like that. So he was literally saying, well, mm, yeah, except now he says no. And so it's no. So trust me, they all get it. Well, Congress passed the immigration bill that Republicans want that Republicans want to to sabotage Trump. Okay. It's the current immigration bill that I think is just at the final stages of being ha hammered out in the Senate. Is that bill going to gain any traction? So that's a yes. Now, the way I understand it, Johnson can just simply choose to not bring it onto the floor, in which case it's sort of dead in the water, which I do believe is what he has said he'll do. Um, but let's, so let's ask this. Are Republicans going to continue to um, move in lockstep with Trump's wishes? Uh, yeah, for now they are. Well, Merrick Garland put Jack Smith's cases on hold, thereby halting any um, prosecutions until the election is over. So, I'm not clear about this. I thought... That when you go out 30 or 60 or whatever days away from an election, um, there, there could not be any investigations. Not so sure that um, existing court cases cannot go forward. I'm not, I'm not sure how that's going to fall, but let's sort of back this up a little bit and just ask if, is the January 6th case going to be completed before there's any, um, before Trump is in a, in a position where the Department of Justice is going to have to back away. Okay, so yes. So as of right now, 
the um, the J6 trial under Chutkin is apparently they're saying it's going to go ahead and be completed before the trial. The um, documents one, forget that. Just forget it. She is not going to even do anything until um, Trump loses the election. And then she's going to, if he's still around, um, she's going to continue to do everything in her power to aid and abet. She's just going to. That's just where she's at as long as she's on the bench. Now, let's ask, is Aileen Cannon going to reside over the whole of the Trump documents case. No. I don't know where she's going or what's happening, but according to this little guy, she won't be there for the duration. Um, is it possible that foreign money comes in to help Trump post the bond? Uh, to appeal the $83 million ruling against him. Let's break it. It's kind of a long question. So let's just break this down. Um, is Trump going to be getting any foreign money to help him post the bond? It says no, but... Is foreign money going to make its way to Trump via other avenues to help him financially as he goes forward? Yes. Um, apparently, uh, it has been said that he has posted the 120% of the 83.3 million so that he's able to file the appeal. So what it is, is it's the 83 million and then plus interest. That's where that like sort of 120% comes from. Um, let's just ask this. Is Trump actually going to win an appeal to, to, to change the amount of the, um, the penalty that he is being charged um, in the uh, Carroll case? Is, he going, is, there going, is there going to be a successful appeal? No. No, no, no. Okay. Um, okay, this one we've sort of done, but I'll just ask the question. Is it possible um, Trump declares himself insane, which is probably true, um, if he is ready to be convicted as a way out of prison. Not at this time. See, this is what we all have to take a big breath and understand. Even if the J6 case completes and he's guilty, He's going to start the appeals process. If he lives long enough and doesn't get into the Oval Office so he can put a kibosh on it, he will just appeal and appeal and appeal. So I think that's part of the reason a lot of us are having trouble actually getting him into a prison. Because he's not going to be put in prison awaiting an appeal process. It's just not going to happen. So by time Trump actually has exhausted his appeals and actually could end up in jail, they're telling me five or six years from now. So we all have to take a deep breath and kind of think about the fact that guilty is going to need to satisfy a lot of us because that appeals process is just going to kick right in. Um, will Chris Christie volunteer his expertise to help Biden win the presidency? Oh, God, not on your life. No, 
Absolutely not. Um, Chris Christie is still very much holding on to the Republican um, ideology, the, the Republican whatever that is. Um, and so, no, he absolutely will not do anything to help Biden. Um, will the right-wing media, like Fox News, <laughs> calm down on the Taylor Swift conspiracy theories after the Super Bowl game this month? Um, and I, I guess the fellow she's dating um, is one of the players on the Kansas City Chiefs. Who oh, no. Um, is the crazy going to stop regarding Swift? Yes. It's part of the reason that the crazy has become magnified and amplified um, with regards to Taylor Swift, aside from the fact that she's very effective at what she's doing, is it a really good way to distract from the uh, ruling in the E.G. Carroll case? Yeah. OK, so that's part of it. Right. Trump got bad news. Um, and so now they're going to shift the attention. This is what they do. Um, and I, frankly, I think that Taylor Swift is probably tough enough and strong enough to be able to um, weather this storm. All right. Um, I think we should just all send her a little bit of spark of energy. And that's what I have for right now. So thank you so much for your smart and clever questions. Um, it's the weekend. So what are you going to do? You're going to do something nice for yourself and someone else. And enjoy the time. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye for now.